All right, now, this next speaker, he uh, was a professor of design. He's in a jazz band. He's athletic. He's meant to not like. But you'll find that you will like him, as he's, he's very helpful, and that's what he wants to do with you, talking about running and how to run and how to make it fun. Give it up for bowlers, Dean Mikazzo. All right. So my, my love-hate relationship began with in the early 70s. And in 1978, I ran my first of five marathons when I was 13. Yeah. Right. 30 years later, I, I'm still running, but I'm a shoe designer. So I, I try to spread the word of running, but instead of telling you statistics and, 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 and the benefits of it and, and trying to teach you how to run, I think it's best to start with a fun run. There's fun races, but there's fun runs, right? A lot of times you're not even running. Part of it's just dressing up in costume. Yeah. Beta breakers, the colors run. Um, we wear all white and then people throw things at you and it changes the color. How fun is that? <laughs> if you really want to run, maybe you should run a zombie run where some zombies come out and chase you. How's that? <laughs> or you could do the gorilla run right here in Denver, which uh, it's a little bit sweaty for me, and I don't know if they actually wash those costumes. <laughs> when you th also think of running as an adventure, each time you go out the door, when I first moved to Colorado, I saw my first pack of coyotes in Broomfield. Woo! How's yeah, that? That's great. If you like shopping, the streets are a great place. I, have, I found so many tools to fill the toolbox. I found this apron from Mad Greens, and I didn't even have to work there. It. It's a brand new. They got to quit. So just think about this. Think about this feeling of when you were running to catch a train, catch a bus, and how invigorated you felt. Oh, God, I made it. Right? What if we could give you that feeling two or three times a week through running? The difference between running and walking is this really great little float phase in running where both feet are off the ground. So it's like you're gliding. It's like you're flying um, every few steps. But this is also what causes running, uh, gives running a little bit of trouble. So I always encourage you to practice balancing, do some coordination, jumping jacks are great, and um, do things that when you were a kid that gave you pleasure, such as hopscotch. Does anybody even do hopscotch? Hopscotch was great when I was, yeah. Jumping rope, double dutch, all this stuff is great for running. Do it before, during, and after a run. You need some equipment. I, I highly advise buying shoes, not just because I design them, but because your foot grows uh, width-wise and length-wise. So buy a, foot that, uh, buy, a, buy a shoe that fits your foot. Because, you know, we don't live in the Shire, right? So buy shoes to protect you from nails, from glass. Cement is hard. The caveman even decided to put something on his feet, right? Other things to buy. buy. Buy some running shorts. <laughs> buy some running shorts, a shirt. If you don't like that, yeah, buy some lube. The bottom one, we might all have some of that around in the closet. And the reason why you want this is because you don't want this. Yeah. Bloody nipples, I like it. Just when you get into the shower, oh boy, that's not so fun. Fun for us, not so fun for them. I would also say, take off those headphones. You can listen to music all day long. Besides, besides your safety, right, bicycles, cars, and you don't want to end up like this um, on the hood of a car. There's lots of other things. On the trails, there's usually creeks and, and bubbling waters, right? Listen for that stuff. There's all kinds of things happening around that um, also give you some energy while you're running. So don't wear those headphones. The other thing that headphones uh, shield is the way that you run. So if you wear headphones, you can't hear the difference between being a, a toe stabber and then a heel striker. Heel strikers run really heavy. You run like that. So if you have your headphones on, you can't hear that. I always try and, and tell people when they run, is run like you're on ice. You're going to be balanced. Your knees are going to be flexed. You're going to be ready. If you take too big of a step, look what happens. Right? <laughs> Ah, this is the best part of running, is 
having a little bit of cheese on those fries, and chili cheese fries, right? A little bit of serving of dessert. So this is not part of running, but this is the benefits of running. I hope my perspective has changed a little bit of your viewpoint of running, and if not, maybe you just think a little bit about those bloody nipples. My name's Dean Bacalza. Thanks.